Hi everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to the Luxury Home Channel here on YouTube. Today we're in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm gonna show you this beautiful home behind me. It's an actual parade of homes winner done by new home builders. So this was built by ICI Homes and the home is five bedrooms, three and a half baths, a three car garage, and 3,561 square feet of living. It's got some really interesting features. One thing I really like is they did a really good job on the outside of the home as far as they have like a little pond and stream in the backyard and it has a really nice kitchen as well. So this home here, as far as the price goes, it does vary. This is the model home that's currently not for sale, but very soon it should be for sale, but you would expect this home to be over a million dollars and they can build it in a bunch of different areas here in the Jacksonville area. So let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and show you this home and the exterior of this home and then also take you on side inside on a tour so follow me this direction now you notice right now i'm stepping on grass um, this is a model home so obviously they're not going to have this where they're going to have bushes in front of the two-car garage that we see like right now they're going to uh, fill this all out with a driveway once they actually sell the model homes but you can see some really nice carriage lights some nice stonework and of course we have the spanish tile roof now over here you'll see something that's very similar to a home we did two weeks ago if you look at our channel and that is that nice cylinder shape on the front of the home that i think really helps with the elevation and makes this home stand out to other homes if you're interested in seeing that we'll link that specific home behind uh, below in the comments that home was actually a three million dollar home a little bit over three million in marsh landing which is one of the most premier neighborhoods here in jacksonville very good home to see it does come with a 50 foot boat slip as well that specific home so as we come in here we do have a one car garage in this direction now that is open right now you can see they use it to store all their paints and stuff and then we come into this nice entrance i love the woodworking here and the archway and of course the stonework and then we have a nice little garden here off to the side which is off the dining room so we come we see this nice french doors glass inserts absolutely beautiful i'll meet you inside all right welcome into this beautiful award-winning model home so as we come in, I close these doors behind me and then I look at the entryway, of course. So the first thing I notice is that we're standing on some really nice ceramic tile floor that is actually wood grain. So it looks like it's actually a wood floor, but it's actually ceramic tile. And then over here we have wood stairs going all the way up. And of course this beautiful railing with the actual ironwork and the woodwork. And then above us is a chandelier. There's a completely elegant chandelier that's a square or rectangle in shape with some nice LED lights in there. So. Before we go anywhere into the house, we're gonna look behind me. Behind me is an office, so follow me here. We go through some French doors into this office, and this is a very, very spacious office. There's plenty of space. It could probably be used as a bedroom. There is a closet over here, but I absolutely love this as an office. You can sit here, be nice and close to the door if anyone comes. And then of course, on this side here, we have our built-in shelf with plenty of storage and you can put all your books and then this beautiful chandelier above us as well. That sort of matches the one that was over the entryway. So let's go ahead and go back. I'm gonna show you the rest of the first floor of this home. We come over here, we have a eight piece dining set with a chandelier above it. Now this dining room does look out onto that uh, front garden that we saw as we came in. And then it also has a really nice accent wall that really pops and makes this room look really good. I love the blues and the whites in this room. So behind me, of course, is something I think a lot of people are gonna like, and that's the family room. The family room has really high ceilings. I would guess that these are about 25 feet tall. Um, and of course, this glass wall going up. We've done some homes, I think in the Casabella area in Windermere that have homes that have homes and windows just like this as well. And uh, people seem to like that. And of course, on this side, we have this fireplace and they have like a bluish gray color woodworking around it. And of course, this brickwork that's like a glossy white area right around the fireplace. And of course, shelves on either side. And that woodworking goes all the way up to the ceiling. And of course, if I'm standing where I'm at and looking up, we see woodwork working on the actual between the first floor and the second floor and all those railings on the second floor so it's absolutely beautiful very very open floor plan here so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take you uh, towards the uh, breakfast nook area but the first stop we're going to have is we're going to go to the right and the right is actually the pantry so we come into the pantry right now they do have it as a clear window but of course that you probably want that solid when you do move in here and then they have all these built-in shelves with these little turntables so you can put stuff in and turn it around and of course all these things also open up and close and they have soft clothes and they have these little baskets down here too which is pretty neat and they have hooks on the other sides for your um, your chef's jacket so or your apron so we go this direction here is the breakfast nook it's got a little bench on that side and of course chairs all the way around a little light fixture above it and then we go into the kitchen. 
So the kitchen has really nice granite countertops. And then it has the oven right here as a Frigidaire double oven. Really beautiful uh, cabinets going all the way up to the ceiling. Okay, the, the actual countertops go on either side. And then we have this microwave. This microwave is really interesting. You actually pull this out here and then you push this button to open, put your food in, and then you go ahead and close and then it closes. So that's a really neat little feature. Um, sometimes you see it on the actual uh, microwave, but it actually closes. And then we come over here. <clears throat> we have a really nice backsplash. It's sort of like browns and grayish. We have a five burner gas stove and then the air vent. And then we also have display cabinets above where there's actually windows that you can look in. You can put some of your fine china up there, which is really neat. Now coming here, we have this side here, we sort of have a, like a beige color. And then on the other side in the center island, we have a brown color as far as cabinet choice. And of course this really beautiful porcelain sink. Above the sink is a pendant lights. And I think these are the more, I don't think I've ever seen as many pendant lights coming out, but this is one of the features that my daughter Haley, who's behind the camera, liked the best. She thought that that was really neat. She's like, we need that for our house. So, and then we have our dishwasher here. And then as we continue around, of course, we have, you know, all of the fancy cabinets with the turntables here as well. And then it goes through and the refrigerator will go here. It's currently MIA, but you know, there'll be a refrigerator here. So follow me down this hallway. And what we'll do is we'll see the laundry room. So this is our laundry room. We do have some built-ins here. So we have the washer and the dryer, and then the shelf here, which would be great for folding clothes. It's really good height. And then of course we have storage. And then we also have a little hanging area um, and then a window for some natural light. So nice little laundry room. Behind this door is a two car garage and then we have the one car garage on the other side. And then behind this door is a half bath. So we should check that out. So let me open this up and come in here. So this one here is done really nice. As you can see, this is a really nice custom builder. They have the woodworking, they have the wood paneling going up and of course the cheer rail, rails here. We have a toilet on this side, a nice pedestal still sink on this side with the mirror and of course the nice light fixture. So let's go ahead and go to the other side of the house. But if you haven't done already, make sure you like this video. Also subscribe to our channel, hit the alert buttons. We put a new luxury home that's in Florida, million dollar and up luxury home in Florida every week uh, for you to watch and look at and see what these uh, homes look like. So whether you're looking to buy or not, or just looking and in, in, interested in uh, these million dollar homes, it's a great channel to follow. So here we are in the primary bedroom. So we have that same ceramic tile floor here. And then we have this, the thing that stands out to me is of course the view here. We have these mirrors, including this picture mi mi uh, mirror, picture window here in the middle. And um, of course this looks out into all the landscape and we'll go outside and show you the landscaping before we end the video. But we have like waterfalls and a pole, uh, pond and a little stream and everything else. And then of course, above me, they've done a really good job as well. They have wood planks going across that they've painted like a bluish gray color, really pops the room and I think looks good. There is a closet. So let's go ahead and go to the closet. Here we are in the closet. So, so closet has got two doors. So, and of course it has plenty of space. This is a nice size closet. Um, and we have places to hang everything, all your, all your clothes. And then over here is a little space for uh, your hamper. So you have a hamper here, and then you also have a hamper down here. And of course, all these shelves for all your shoes, more shelves over here. And then of course, over here as well. So let's go ahead and go to the primary bathroom. So we go from the ceramic tile wood floor to like a glossy ceramic tile floor. It looks a little bit more like marble underneath me. And when I come in here, we do have two sink areas. Uh, the one to my right is a little bit bigger. So it has a little bit more storage space. And then the one over here on my left is a little bit smaller, but still plenty big enough. Um, and then the actual countertop here is a really unique countertop. It's got like whites and browns in it and a little sparkling stuff going on as well. So I do think it does really well and does really well with the mirror and the frame of the mirror. We have some really nice lighting as well. Um, we have a claw tub. And of course, with all the faucets, you can even take a shower over here if you so desire. We have a little accent wall with a light for putting in some nice artwork. And then behind me is the shower. So we come in, we actually uh, go down one level and it goes into a little bit smaller tiles. And one thing that's nice about all this is that we have little sparkles going on also in here. Actually, that actually might be um, the water. Someone was actually in here showering recently in the model home. That's interesting. <laughs> so behind this door here is the actual water closet. Um, and that is the first floor. 
So let's go ahead and follow me. We'll go back to the stairs. Now, if you are interested in buying a luxury home in Florida, make sure you give me a call. My number will be below. I've lived or worked in nearly every city here in Florida and have some really good contacts with some great realtors all over the state of Florida that can help you find a luxury home. So let me go ahead and go upstairs. I'll meet you up there. All right, so here we are on the second floor of this beautiful home. And before we go and take a tour of all this area, I want to take you over to that cylinder area. And so come follow me down this hallway. And we have like a little sitting area here. So you can sit down, enjoy some books, uh, have some coffee, have this beautiful chandelier above us. And of course, these windows for the natural light. It's a really nice little, nice little feature here, having that little extra space. So let's go ahead and go back and show you some of the bedrooms. We're gonna go to my left and take you down here. Now we are standing on ceramic tile up here as well and through the hallways, but as we go into the bedroom, it does change the carpet. So this will be bedroom number two. So this is all about fashion. So we have a nice bed and of course it's got, it's a pretty cool little design bed headboard there too. And then we have crown molding all the way around. And then of course, all this woodworking that really makes that blue pop in the center. Now over here, we do have a window. It's got a little area where you can sit down and look out and check out what's going on in your front yard. And then behind or behind the camera is gonna be the actual closet. So let's go ahead and go to bedroom number three, which is just right across the hallway here. So this is bedroom number three. Now, the first thing that stood out about this bedroom is what's above me. This light is absolutely kind of huge and interesting to look at. I kind of like it, it's LED. Um, and then of course we have plenty of space here where they have like beiges on the walls, crown molding all around me, and then the closets. And the closets here aren't those wire racks. They've actually done the custom closets as well. So that's a nice little feature. So let's go ahead and show you the bathroom that these two bedrooms would have, which is right to my left. So. Here is the full bathroom. We do have the actual cabinets and then of course the countertop. The sink sort of floats above the area. And one thing I did like about this is that it has a faucet with a hot and the cold and it comes out of the wall. And of course the wall is done with that woodworking as well. So you don't have those plain walls. A lot of these walls have that woodworking throughout. It goes all the way up to the ceiling and then check out those lights. So those lights are pretty cool and interesting. So going over to the tub, we have the tub and of course we have the tile work going up to the window, giving you some natural light coming in. So let's go ahead and go down the hallway. And if you can consider giving me a like and following my channel, I'd really appreciate it. Um, we know how difficult that can be sometimes. So if you do take that time, that would be awesome for you to do. So let's go ahead and go into bedroom number four. This is the aviation room. So all about airplanes, something that's close to me. I used to fly airplanes when I was younger. And of course the actual painting on the wall is really neat. Um, so a couple little spaces here. We have the window looking out to the front, nice closet. And then this has actually got a Jack and Jill bathroom. So we come in, we have our white cabinets. We have this sort of countertop. Now we me and my daughter, Haley, who's behind the camera, we were talking about this. She thinks what you thought was green. You thought it was green, okay. So I think it's like like a blackish, bluish. She thinks it's a greenish, bluish, or just greenish? Blackish. Blackish, okay, well anyway, what do you guys think? I think it's sort of black. So, but maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's got a little blue to it, maybe navy blue to it, anyway. Anyway, uh, so we have the mirror, and of course, also the really nice light. And then over on this side, we do have um, the little tub and we had the tile work with the little tiny window looking out for that natural light. So we're, Flamingo bedroom is next. Yes, Flamingo bedroom. So come back this way. And here we are to bedroom number five. It's all about, we have Flamingo pictures and Flamingo pictures there. And of course we have the, the again, nice accent walls with the woodworking. And they also have this extra little cheer rail here, which sort of really makes the room pop. So when you do a custom builder and they do these little finishing touches, it really makes a home a home, I think, instead of just having plain walls. So follow me over here. And then we're gonna come out to the loft. So this would be a cool little area for the kids or the adults to hang out and enjoy some TV, play some games, play board games, whatever you may want. It's a nice little spacious area. And of course it looks out over the family room with all these railings and stuff. It's a really, really beautiful home. So before we finish, I still have one more thing to show you, which is outside. So I'll meet you down on the patio. All right, so here we are on the covered patio. I love the actual tile that we're standing on. It's a ceramic wood grain tile. Behind me is the summer kitchen. So we have a sink area here, also really nice granite. I love the stonework. We have a storage little area here. We have the 
um, barbecue. Now you'll notice here they do have this screened in. So this whole area here is screened in, which helps protect against the bugs, which sometimes is an issue here in Florida, but it's usually in the evening times, certain times of the year. And then we have our refrigerator and of course our electric outlets sockets. Now on the other side, we have a little sitting area. They have some little cool little games going on here. So you can sit here, enjoy the nice Florida weather. And then we have a little eating area currently set up for a four person eating. And then we have this little section here. Now this section, we do have a storage unit here. If you can store things, if you wanted to put a pool in or put your pond supplies in there. And then this door here goes to a half bath. A half bath also has really nice tile. They have this really beautiful pedestal sink with a wicker basket that comes out for storage a nice mirror and of course the light and we have the toilet on the other side so but let's go ahead and show you this cool water feature out here so if this this home ever does come up for sale uh, this would be obviously included so as we come out we come out into an actual patio that's open outside of the screened area and it's also not covered so you're open to the weather we have a little bit of blue skies here we're expecting a little bit of afternoon shower sometime soon so but we come out here, we have a nice grass area, and then we have this beautiful pond and stream. So we have a waterfall with all the stonework, and then the stream that goes all the way around with this beautiful landscaping all the way through. So if you're interested in um, any homes in the state of Florida, uh, this home or any other home, make sure you give us a call. My phone number will be below. It's 407-630-8484. And you can call me, talk to me personally, and I'll put you in touch with one of our preferred realtors in each area. We work with the, the, the realtors that are the best of the best in each of the areas in the different cities in Florida to take care of your buying or selling needs. So thanks for watching and hope I'll see you next week. Take care, bye-bye.